everyone, welcome back to Happy Hot Home. I have started the cleaning process. Well, I haven't finished taking down all the Christmas decorations. I've only taken down the one sunroom that I posted about and I started in the kitchen and then I got derailed with other things. So I still have not finished that, but now I'm moving on to a little bit of an easier room in the dining room since there's a lot less decor, Christmas decor in this room. Um, I am starting to redo this room with more of a winter look than a Christmas look. Well, you can still see I have the Christmas white branches over there. Um, but I am, yeah, trying to take the room and give it a little bit more of a winter decor look. So, I have taken everything off of the table and, well, sorry, okay. So let me go back and say the real purpose of this video, what I want to show you in my redoing of the dining room is that I want to show you how I clean crystal. So that's the real purpose of it. So I'm gonna be showing you some new decor in the dining room, taking the, the dining room decor down from Christmas and just making it a little, little bit more wintry, but I am also showing you how I clean this crystal chandelier, which has not been cleaned in quite some time and it's starting to look smudgy and getting that milky residue on it. If you can like see over in this one, you can see from the side really well that it gets like that milky residue on it. You can see from the side how it just starts to look kind of yucky. See that? So these crystals are obviously very big, very large, so I can't just take them off, soak them in some vinegar and hang them back up, which is okay. Um, so I have a different method of cleaning this chandelier that I want to show you. If you do have like crystal um, and you only have a hanging crystal chandelier with, you know, a few pieces and I find the easiest way is just to take those few pieces off and soak them. And that's what I used to do when I was a child. I used to love cleaning my parents' crystal chandeliers and I would take every piece off and I would soak them and hang them back up and they were just so beautiful and shiny. I just got such a thrill from the before and after. So to this day, I still love crystal. But as I said, I can't do it with this one because the pieces are just too big and I would probably end up damaging the chandelier. So I am going to clean it a different way um, and I'm going to show you how I do that. I need to get a ladder so I don't hurt myself. Um, probably get someone to help me and I will show you the process. I'm also going to um, clean over there the... Um, Oh my gosh, the sconces. Sorry, the word escaped me. Um, I'm also gonna clean those sconces and show you how they look also. Now let me, well, I was gonna show you how it looked. Let me turn the light on. And you can maybe see like the milky residue a little bit better. You know, it just doesn't have that perfect shine that it should. I don't know if it's showing through. See how just milky that looks? And it's just not, from different angles, it looks different ways, but kind of showing you the worst angle when I look at it, what I see. Um, but, so that's what it looks like on. Um, so uh, let me get everything set up. I am going to get my supplies and then I am going to show you how I clean this. So I have removed everything from the room. Well, when I say everything, I mean, I have cleared off the table completely because um, I'm going to be working on a ladder and I don't want anything to damage the table or fall on the table. So I suggest cleaning the table completely and removing all the chairs around the table because that's the space that I'm going to be working with a ladder. So that is the first step. Um, second step, I suggest turning the chandelier off don't want the chandelier on because 
obviously the bulbs are going to be hot and you could burn yourself. So I suggest turning the chandelier off. And the items that I am going to use is glass cleaner and white gloves. This is ingenious. So I will tell you a little story about how I figured this method out. I absolutely love my favorite store for furniture, for lighting, for everything is Restoration Hardware. This is a Restoration Hardware light. You go into the gallery and everything in there is just absolutely stunning. Their crystal is impeccable, so the glass is so sparkly, it's, it's, it's immaculate. It, immaculate. And I once went in there and I asked him, so how do you guys keep your crystal so clean? And the woman says, well, let me tell you, we use white gloves and we go around and polish them. I was like, oh my gosh, that is fabulous. What a great idea. So that way you don't have to take all the crystals off, soak them. You can just clean, and it works especially well with these very large pieces of crystal. You can just get up there and clean it. Absolutely fabulous. I, thought it was an ingenious idea and I've been doing it ever since. I don't do it enough, but <laughs> that is the way that I do now clean my crystal. Okay, so I get these white gloves and I will link them below. And I use one on each hand, put one on my left and I put one on my right hand. All right, and I use several pairs for the cleaning process. Got my gloves on. One of the things you want to do um, during the cleaning process is you also want to clean the bulbs. So, you know, just lightly go over them to get the dust off of them. Do that for all of the bulbs because you know the bulbs do gather dust. You could unscrew them, but this is just easier. And then you can see on your hand the dust. So for those, instead of spinning the chandelier, I don't want to spin the chandelier. So I'll clean these three, and then I would go over to the side, go over to that side, put the ladder up, and clean the other three. But for purposes of the video, I'll just clean the three over here. But that's what I suggest, to use the glove to clean the bulbs and get all of the dust off. Okay, next. So what we are going to be doing with the glass cleaner, and with a new pair of gloves because once you go around cleaning all of the bulbs if your gloves dirty i suggest putting on a new pair, pair of gloves but i only did it a couple times so i'm not going to switch my gloves out so this is what i do with the glass cleaner i spray the glass cleaner on the glove on one hand just Lightly soak it in, and I keep the other hand dry. And then I just go over and go over the edge and just clean it. So the front and the back. Let me get up a little higher. To reach to reach the tippy top, I need to step up on the ladder a little bit more. So I'm going up here. I'm cleaning the whole one side crystal with the wet glove. And then I'm gonna go over it and dry it with my right hand, which is the dry glove. And it already looks 10 times better. I'm going to have to get a close-up of this. I'm going to have to take the camera down and get a close-up of this, of already just what cleaning one crystal looks like. So that's what I'm going to do. And each time I clean one, I am going to spray my hand. Again, you know, I'll clean maybe three or four and Here's a little trick. And then I can switch my gloves and use the other side so I don't have to go through as many gloves. Little trick there. 
Um, so I'm going to continue to go around, spray a little bit more here, wet the glove each time. And I'm going to do the next one. It's so satisfying to see it, to see the crystal get so clean and sparkly and see through and get rid of that nasty film. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh. It already looks so amazing. I have these two done and those two not done and it's just a world of difference. So I'm gonna take the camera and I'm gonna take a picture of this or I guess I can film it and show you the big difference on how it looks. But anyway, so I'm going to continue to go around and do each one of them and that is how I clean crystal chandelier. It's super easy. It's, I think it's such a great idea to use these white gloves and not just for cleaning crystal, but to have a packet of these white gloves in your home for handling china, for handling anything that you don't want smudges on or anything that is on the delicate side. So I suggest grabbing, they're not expensive, grabbing a bag of these and just using them around the house to handle your jewelry. When um, I do get new chandeliers and I put the crystals up on a new chandelier, I use a pair of gloves also to avoid getting um, uh, smudges on the crystal. That chandelier that we have in our kitchen used gloves to put up in the, the individual crystals. So that is the method. I'm gonna um, show you what this looks like and I am going to continue cleaning each one of the, um, of the individual uh, crystal blocks. And then I'm going to spruce up the room for a little bit of a winter look and show you how that all looks when it's done. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so here we are on the other side of the chandelier and these are the two pieces that I just cleaned. The piece over here you can see is milky. This piece is um, very milky, but these two are just so nice and shiny and it was so easy to do. I mean, it, it took me what, you know, like less than 30 seconds. So easy to do. So I just wanted to show you that. I am going to continue and go all the way around and clean each piece. And then I'm going to clean the, the two sconces behind me and fix up the table and then show you how it all looks. So I've cleaned a couple more, the ones to the left and the right, and I just wanted to show you how sparkly they look now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move the ladder um, to the other side. Like I said, I don't want to spin the chandelier. don't want it to fall down. <laughs> not that it would, but I don't know. I'm not going to take any chances. Um, I'm going to take the ladder to the other side and continue the process. And um, I, so another thing I wanted to mention, you know, the um, iron, I wipe that with just a clean cloth to get the dust off, but I wouldn't suggest using like glass cleaner on the iron. Just use, you know, a very clean cloth to, cloth to get the dust off and that should be sufficient. But making good progress. You can see how clean these three are and then that one over there is dirty. Okay, well, I am gonna continue and I'll be back. One more thing that I wanted to mention while I think of it is that the gloves are washable. So when you are finished using them, you can just throw them right in the washing machine and you can wash them. I wanted to make sure to say that and tell you that before I forgot. Okay, so I'm done cleaning the chandelier. It probably took about 10 minutes. You can see it's swinging a little bit from um, me moving it. But I, I went around the table, you know, and I just kept moving my ladder so I could get each piece. But it looks great. It looks so much better. The milky residue is gone. It, 
there are a couple places where it is a little streaky. You know, sometimes you just can't like avoid some of those streaks. So there is a little bit of streaking going on, but it just looks so much better overall. So I'm gonna continue with the room. I am going to turn the chandelier on and I'm gonna show you how everything looks. Okay, so I have the chandelier completely cleaned. And in addition, I did the two sconces over there, which literally took probably less than a minute for both because it's just wiping down with two fingers the front of each crystal. So that was super easy. <clears throat> so what I did, I added a table runner to the table to give the room a little bit more texture. And on the sideboard in the back, I added two very tall candelabras. And if you recognize the candelabras, these are the ones from the um, my family room mantle. But since I put those large ginger jars on the family room mantle, I decided to use these candlesticks in here, and I love them. And right over there, there are some faux um, poinsettias, white poinsettias. So I've just turned the room into a little bit still, um, a little bit less Christmassy and a little bit more wintry. Still using some of the elements, you know, that I did have around at Christmas. The these are faux um, paper whites. I, I love them. Um, I did have them around at Christmas, so I'm still using them now. And the poinsettias in the back. All right, so I'm going to light some candles and put this to music and let you enjoy. If you like the video, give it a like and thumbs up, subscribe, and turning on notifications would be fabulous. All right, guys, I will see you next time.